Welcome to the border edition of the 2023 Super Stash Busting Blanket Project. So today I'm going to show you what border I am doing for this and I will show you how to create your own. I'm going to start up in a corner and work around the entire blanket in rounds. So we're going to be working in rounds for the border so there's no turning of the project. Now the stitch is reversible. As you can see, there's no real right or wrong side to this blanket. I have picked two yarns from my stash. They're both brand new. One is a gray impeccable by loops and threads acrylic yarn. The other is a big twist value. This one is sort of a blue it is a dark teal. Again, acrylic yarn, both brand new. I wanted to make sure I had enough to go all the way around the border for the border at least twice. In keeping with the spirit of randomness for this blanket, I have a penny and I'm going to flip it and heads will be gray, tails will be teal, and that is the color that the border will be for this blanket. So let's flip the coin. It is heads, gray. So let's get started. Here is the last row. I ended on the other side of this row. On the opposite side is my foundation chain and that is flat. Here's my right side, again it's flat, and also my left side down that other side is also flat. So it took me a little bit of time to figure out what border I wanted to do for this project, but I really, really, really wanted to keep this edging. So my idea is to continue to work the same pattern for the border. I'm going to start in this corner and work across like I have been for this entire project. When I get to the corner, instead of chaining and turning, I am simply going to rotate the blanket, it'll be this way actually, and work down that other side, trying to work the pattern in these spaces as evenly as I can, and then do the same thing across that flat chain bottom, and then working back up this side, and finishing here. And I'm going to do this a few times all the way around to create this gray border to border the nice colorway of this blanket, but keeping the stitch pattern the same. So what I've done is just put the slip knot on my hook and slipped my hook into the top of that chain right where we started or ended. And I'm just going to join right at that point. And now I can start the pattern. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to chain, I'm going to chain four, find that first space and work the pattern as if this was just a regular row of blanket. And I'm going to work the pattern all the way down this top side. One, two, three, four, chain three, and a double crochet into that same space, and find the next space. So I'm going to work this until I get to the corner and I will show you sort of how I'm going to work those corners. I'm not sure it's going to come out even on the sides, but the thing I love with crochet, especially in a blanket like this, is you can cheat. So hopefully I don't have to cheat, but if I do, I'm totally fine with it. All right, so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. This blanket is huge. I don't have a big enough work area and it's really awkward to try to film something this big and move it around, but we'll do our best. So I've worked this shell 
stitch from the very beginning, the other corner where I started, all the way across. Here is the first actual corner that I'm going to work. So here is my chain space, and I'm going to go ahead and work the stitch pattern into that space. Chain three and double crochet right back into it. And now I have sort of finished that edge or that last shell. I need to start working this way. So I'm going to try to turn this if I can. And I think what I'm going to do is just work into, you've got all of these spaces and I'm trying to determine which spaces are the best for me to work in to get the same sort of stitch pattern effect on the sides. Because I don't want this pulling too much on the corners, I think I'm going to go ahead and work right into this first space and then see where I'm at. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just work right into that corner, that first space. So now we're looking something like this. All right, now let's see. I don't think I need to go into this next space. I'm afraid if I do, these will be too close together and it will start to bunch up on itself. And we don't want that. So I'm gonna skip that space and work in the next. I'll skip this space, work in the next. So basically, I'm just going to skip a space work the pattern, skip the next space, and then work the pattern in the next, all the way down. When I get to that other corner, I'm gonna do the same thing, and we'll see how it lines up along that chain, that foundation chain row. But I'll show you that in just a second. I've worked down most of that side, so I'm back at that corner, and here is my foundation chain row, this green. So I'm going to skip this space, work the pattern into this next space. Chain three and a double crochet right back in to that space. And now I'm actually at the corner. So what I think I'm going to do is work into this corner space here. So let's just work the shell pattern into that corner. Going too fast for my own good here. Two, three, four. Chain three and double crochet. And I think that'll get me around the corner. I'm going to skip this space and then work into the next, skip a space, work into the next, all the way down this foundation chain. And I'm hoping that will work out. The only thing that is concerning me or giving me a little bit of something to think about is this other corner. So these corners, let's see, is this the actual corner? Yes, all right, so right here. So here is the first corner that I did. I'm thinking when I get back around on these corners for my second row, third row, depending on how many rows I do for the border, I'm probably going to have to, I'll be working a shell into here. I'm probably going to put a double crochet and then a shell into that space. 
because I need to get over to this one to start the pattern and so this is going to be a little bit tricky. Maybe I'll just work a few double crochets, chain three, and then a few more in here just to do that corner, but I won't know until I get around. I'm going to go ahead, work on the border, finish it up, and I will let you know what I did for these corners since I don't think working the actual pattern into this space is going to give me enough of a corner. I think it probably will start bunching up and it's not going to work out right. But I don't know that until I get there and then I'll see. It might take me a few tries to get something that I like, but I'll let you know what I do for the corners. But for this first round, so far I haven't had to cheat. I'm basically just working that shell pattern into every other space all around the, the blanket. And so far I like how it is looking. So we'll see what happens on rounds two and three and so on. So here it is everyone, my completed 2023 Super Stash Busting Blanket. So let me show you what I did on the border. I worked two rounds using the same stitch as the entire blanket and I felt that was true to the blanket. At first I wasn't sure if that was going to work, but look, it looks so good and even the corners, while they're not perfectly square like a blanket, it works. This totally works. It's a nice curved rounded corner. I really wanted to work another round in the gray, but from that brand new ball, this is all I have left just working the two rounds. So this proves that this stitch is a super yarn eater. So two rounds of this gray and it frames the blanket really nicely. Let's see if I can give you a look at how big this blanket actually is. It's a throw size. You can see the border down at the bottom there. It came out so good. The gray border, while it probably wasn't my first choice, if I'm being honest, it looks really nice. It looks good. It goes with a blanket. It doesn't interfere with all of those pretty colors within the blanket. So I'm really super happy with this. I love how it turned out. I love how it came out. I enjoyed this project so much. I'm even thinking about doing a planned blanket in this stitch pattern. I'm not sure yet what colors or what I'm going to do. But I just, I loved working on it. I loved the pattern. It was so quick and easy to pick up and there was no real thought to it. And there's a few times where I actually did mess up the stitch pattern in this blanket, but you can't tell because it was easily fixable. You could cheat with it just a little bit if you had to. So overall, super happy with it. Love how the border came out. I'm really, like I said earlier, I'm really glad that I went with the same stitch pattern for the border. It just kind of gives it a completed look for the blanket without using a different stitch. So I kept true to the blanket. Now the only thing I didn't really keep true to was the color for the border because I didn't have any scraps left. That entire basket of scraps was gone and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, using that entire ball of gray on the border, I didn't have enough scraps anyway. So you can see my scrap basket is completely empty. It needs a new project. I'm going to work on that. And here is another corner that I did with that border. And again, it just, the border worked up so quickly because it was the same stitch pattern. So I really do want to try a planned blanket with the stitch pattern and maybe play around with a different border on that. We'll see. I hope you all enjoyed this journey in 2023 with me using up stash yarn that I had. And I hope that this gave you some inspiration to 
find a project using up some of your scrap yarn. All of these scraps, well, they can't be put into a big project by themselves. Put together, you get a really fun, interesting, unique looking blanket. And the best part about a project like this is you can choose any stitch pattern that you want. If you want just a simple granny shell stitch, that works. If you want to do granny squares, that works. If you want to do something like this, where it's sort of an offset shell stitch pattern, that works. If you're interested in the stitch pattern, I do have a scarf tutorial on my channel, and I will link that down below. So you can check that out if you want to get the stitch pattern down and do your own blanket. And I also have the playlist on my channel of every month in 2023 updates of this work in progress, which is now complete. I hope you enjoyed this little series. Happy 2023, everyone. See you in 2024. Bye.